with the change of the database, there's been a few comments on the previous video of, you know, oh, I can't find the database and stuff like that. That's because there's no database anymore. Since then, there's been a big change and they've moved it to Java. And I've written this in the guide, but obviously people sometimes prefer videos and I can understand that. Also since then, I've moved on to a dedicated server, uh, which means I do not have ping perfect, but the steps are pretty similar to the previous one. Um, so in the file explorer, or the, you know, where you f have your files, where you can see these files here, this would be the same in your you know, Nitrado, Ping Perfect, or whatever. Any, you know, any any good server host will give you access to the files and like the command line and stuff like that. But yeah, so go the aisle, and then we want to go saved, and then you'll go databases, and then you choose what mode yours is. So if yours is survival, you'll go into survival, and then you'll go players. And then you'll change the, the JSON. This is the player... I don't know why it says Adobe <laughs> Player thing. So this is their Steam ID, obviously. And when I right click on this and edit it, you can also just edit it with just normal notepad. Um, you can see here it says Utah Juvs or Utah Juvs, which is the Utah Juvi, obviously. The survival one, because that's what the S stands for. And obviously you can change this. this, is the character class. You can obviously, you know, we've went through this before, you change this to um, whatever you want. So you could say, what, Rex, Rex Adult, I think this is how that works. So you could change that to Rex Adult S, and you'd want to make sure that before you save these changes, you want to make sure that the health is higher so that when you spawn in um you don't just like pretty much spawn in with nothing and die because uh, see how this says 25 so by default i usually just do a few nines not too many because that can glitch out the your character sometimes so just do a few nines if this isn't enough nines then add one more nine i guess um and then with the bleeding rate, you want to keep that to zero because that's... And unless you... There's, so the bleeding rate is for if you... If you want to have yourself bleeding. So if you put that to 100, that'll be the entire, like, three bleed. Uh, the oxygen, if you put that to zero, obviously you'll have no oxygen. Um, the gender, B gender, equals false. False is male. True is female. Uh, resting, obviously you know what that is. So false means you're not resting. True means you are resting. Broken legs, same thing again. False, no broken legs. True. Uh, and then you got like pretty much the irrelevant stuff. Progression points, progression tier, unlocked characters. The, these three are pretty much irrelevant because progression isn't really important. And then you obviously have the camera rotation and the location and rotation of that as well. Uh, but this is an old file actually. So what you actually want is you want, uh, so obviously this would all be in whatever game mode you are. This is the new one. Now you probably see the skin palette sections here. You cannot customize these through here. I'm pretty sure, and if you can, you can only customize them to the skins you can choose on that certain dinosaur anyway. So it's not recommended to really mess around with those unless you know what the numbers are. Like, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so this is obviously the Kano Adult S, um, and so they've since added DNA. Not sure what that does, I don't think that does anything yet. Um, and then so you've got all the other stuff here, obviously you change these to your liking. 
uh, be, see, be gender true, this Kano is obviously a female, and they are resting, and they don't have a broken bone, um, because I think bone breaks off on the server. So then you've got like camera rotation, you've got camera distance, and then the, you know, the, all the other stuff, and then skin palette variation. Um, and then, yeah, so now that you know this, all right, so you got to remember, it's in the aisle server, or whatever it is, you go to the aisle, you go saved, in databases, there won't be the old database anymore from the previous one. That's completely gone. Throw that out the window. You want to go to sandbox or survival or whatever game mode it is. Um, and there's also nests as well. If somebody makes a nest and doesn't break it, it'll also supposedly pop up here. Or maybe that's not working yet. I'm not sure. And then you can customize stuff about them. That's, that's how it worked last time anyway. And then if there's a download option... Or if you can just edit it in the actual server, in the actual server thingy, then you would just download this and then edit it and then, you know, re-upload it back into that area. While downloading, uh, while deleting the old one first, uh, after you've downloaded it. Uh, see, this one hasn't logged in in a long time, so they've actually still got the old one by the looks of it. Oh, actually, no, that's Spino. So, this is the config for the non-survival dinosaurs, alright? I think that's pretty much how this works. If you put the skin palette part of it in there, it'll it'll break things. So, just make sure this is the how your config kind of looks for anything that isn't survival. I think Spino's actually coming survival soon. Um, and then things that are survival? Are you a survival? Yeah, things that are survival will look like this. Something like this, anyway. But yeah, so that's pretty much how you go th go about players. And then everything else is pretty much the same, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you go saved and you go config. Um, if we go to game.ini and edit this. This is... Oh, jeez. Okay. So this is the... The game.ini, this is the config, the main config for your thing. Um, so family sharing is irrelevant. Uh, let's see, what else is relevant? Probably server tag. I don't think that does anything yet. Battle I, pretty sure that's irrelevant. Um, name tag, experimental. Er, experimental, pretty sure that's irrelevant at the moment as well. Server AI is irrelevant. Everybody keeps asking, oh, how do I get Max AI? I see that see Max AI in the titles of the actual, you know, the the server servers that say, we have Max AI. This is relevant. All right. This is old. All of these, anything that has the words AI in them currently are irrelevant. If you're watching this in the future and it works, then ignore this. But that... Currently, it's been like this for a while now. AI, throw it out the window, it does not work. It will never work. Doesn't matter what numbers you change, doesn't matter what you do to this. The AI spawn uh, when you're below, pretty much below half hunger. I think it's below 60% 60, 60 hunger or something like that. So, yeah, this is all irrelevant here because... They spawn automatically, you know, there's no there's no rate that you can set for them right now. Uh, and then you got like your fall damage, uh, the respawn time, the logout time. Um, now the respawn time for survival, that will be your grow, t uh, the time you have to wait to grow. Um, it may not seem like that, but I pr I'm pretty, like, in terms of... You know how in Respawn, there's a countdown. In Grow, in Survival, I'm pretty sure there's a, like, hidden countdown or something like that, because it stays grey for a bit, um, and you actually have to wait in there. But if you have it to zero, then you should just be able to click it straight away. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then Logout is obviously always Logout. 
footprint lifetime. I'm not sure if you can change that or not. I just keep that there, like it stays there. So I don't know, that's just default, I think. Um, and obviously you've got your server admins, you got your banned users, and then you got your disabled dinosaurs here. So you can sort of see how that works out. Uh, and then you got your progression overrides, which again, pretty much irrelevant if you, you know, like, <laughs> and I think server starting daytime, server dynamic time of day and server day length, I want to say that that's irrelevant. I'm pretty sure you can't really change that, but I don't know, maybe you can, I haven't messed around with it, but I'm pretty sure you can't really do anything with that. But yeah, this is pretty much what all this does. Um, like, you, like they they all say what they do. It's the the config is pretty simple, and I think that's pretty much out of everything. Game user settings. I'm pretty sure this is just mods, but obviously they don't work anymore um, due to a certain someone. So, yeah. Other than that. I think that's pretty much everything. You got your crashes. This is where you'll find your crash logs, probably. Yeah, this is where you'll you'll find your crash logs, or sometimes in here as well. So yeah. Anyway. Oh and yeah. So this is where you want your message of the day as well. So anyway, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. If this did help you, um, you know, leave a like, stuff like that, you know, whatever they say, doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is just helping people because there's been a lot of questions that have finally just been like, you know what, just do it. Just, just do this. It's, it's been a long time of waiting. And then, um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will like it and hard it, and I will answer your question if, you know, like, it has to be related to this, obviously. Um, just server hosting in general for the aisle or whatever. Ask me the question. I will try and answer it. And, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.